Pennywise would sure a dig this movie. Woo, kids, blood and gore, just what you wanted to see, ha ha ha. Boy Kills a World, uh, directed by uh, More for Is uh, More, and uh, is uh, the 2024 uh, slasher uh, uh, action uh, thriller that released uh, uh, in a spring this year in April alongside uh, uh, one of my favourite movies uh, this year, uh, Challengers. Uh, now, this review was uh, specifically requested by uh, my uh, great pal, uh, Jake. So, Jake, this review is dedicated all for you. I uh, hope you enjoy hearing my my honest opinion on uh, if, if on uh, what could be one of your favourite movies of the year. I'll find out when you let me know in the comments section. But I just need to be honest about one thing, man. I it is uh it is a a pleasure to review this movie for you. But you don't need to comment the request on every single video I post uh, before I review the request because I will re remember it. I, I never forget. If you recall back in January, I did post a video just to, to uh, be a little patient when it comes to requests, uh, but uh, but it but it's fine. Uh, you you, you uh, I uh, I'm so my deepest apologies. It took this long to get to the requester, but. Uh, but I'm so happy I finally able to sit down and do it today. So uh, let's uh, jump right into it. So Boy Kills World tells the story of uh, uh, this uh, uh, dude uh, played by uh, Aunt Bill Skarsgård, a Pennywiser from It. After this uh, organization assassinates his family or assassinates, uh, well, uh, his family, so we think, uh, he... Uh, goes on this uh, revenge quest to, to uh, take them down. But to uh, spoilers, uh, da 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 da, his sister uh, is alive all this time, it, it, as revealed in in the third act of uh, the movie. Uh, so, yeah, literally, it's a it's uh, an even bigger bloodbath than Deadpool and Wolverine. This is uh, this is uh, the bloodiest uh, uh, movie of uh, two thousand twenty-four. So, uh, I, uh, went into this uh, movie having no idea what to expect. It did receive a mediocre Rotten Tomato score, though Jeremy Jorms did a seem to a be a devout fan of it. But as for my honest take, yeah, Boy Kills a World was not my cup of tea. Not that this is a bad movie, it's, uh, yeah, it was, uh, uh, just uh, not a pleasant watch and uh, just uh, bland uh, a gore fest, I mean, and a bland revenge story we've seen a, a bajillion times. I mean, uh, I mean, great cast and uh, not bad uh, character relationships, but uh, that doesn't make it a great movie. That isn't enough to save it. Yeah, this is one of the uh, uh, more... Uh, but by the numbers movies I watched this year, but uh, but let's uh, uh, get to the positive uh, uh, part of this review done first. Bill Skarsgård is satisfactory as our lead protagonist. I mean, yes, his uh, quest and his revenge story is uh, is uh, beyond uh, generic, uh, but uh, he does have a presence and he does have that ex badass expression with his art is that he's able to convey. And uh, his bond with his sister was uh, the uh, most uh, uh, emotional bond in the film. I mean, him and his sister uh, are, are as, a cl as close as can be and they do slay together in, in, in the action scenes. Uh, the uh, issue is... Uh, his sister is um, not nearly enough in the movie. I wanted way more of her. And honestly, my favourite part of the movie was the end credits. So with uh, that, uh, uh, with that uh, uh, catchy end credit song and the uh, and the detailed, uh, colourful artwork. Now that looked like... Uh, uh, and the credits were so 
anime styled. I'm like, this, uh, I think this movie honestly would have worked better as an animation than live action because this does feel like an, an anime in some respects. But uh, here's uh, why uh, uh, Your Boy Kills World was not an easy movie to get through for me. I mean, if you thought Deadpool and Wolverine was the gore fest of the year, you ain't seen nothing yet. This movie just uh, went too far with its uh, with its uh, bl blas, and uh, yeah, I yeah I, I just uh, uh, felt so squeamish the entire time. There were times when I I couldn't uh, bear it to, to watch because I mean, with all the the scars and the the scratches and the blood that the characters had on on their bodies from the fight scenes. I mean, uh, the the makeup uh, and uh, prosthetics uh, teams uh, you can uh, see uh, well had uh, well uh, had uh, like uh, gallons of a uh, fake blood for this movie alone. So yeah, because of uh, that, uh, I just. I felt this movie could have toned it down just a little. I, I felt that made the film less less enjoyable to me. I mean, and I guess it blood and gore is subjective. If you love that, then then uh, this uh, movie is right up your stream. But uh, I uh, d didn't, and uh, even uh, f for make Jamson and. Uh, uh, and uh, Monica Dockerby. Forgive me if I got her name wrong, but uh, she was from a uh, Guy Ritchie's *The Gentleman* and uh, and from *Downton Abbey*. But both awesome actresses. But uh, yeah, even uh, they uh, felt uh, underused in in this film. And uh, and uh, the and and the final uh, uh, but bad guy. He uh, uh, like. The uh, uh, J Japanese uh, Beatrice's uh, uh, karate master, uh, who could uh, make, uh, who could, who could cut you uh, just by kicking you. What a nothing of a villain! Uh, like, uh, I and what, what a nothing of a villain! He does nothing but but whoop ass and and yeah, the, the just the entire process of. Uh, of uh, uh, our main character going on to training to uh, kill this organization. It, it is uh, as extremely predictable as you can guess. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm sorry this is a short review, but there's little I can say about it. And in case you're wondering why I'm wearing res, it's to uh, symbolize uh, the res that uh, Bill Skarsgård wears in this movie. And, and all, all the blood you're, you're going to get. But so overall, at the end of the day, Boy uh, Kills uh, World uh, will be a turn your brain off uh, uh, gore festa that you uh, can uh, watch at uh, uh, Halloween gigs and Halloween parties uh, uh, if you're in the mood for that. But, but as for me, I personally am never going to watch it again or, or I will feel sick. <laughs> I give Boy Kills World Two stars out of five. Meh movie. So uh, yeah, uh, and I uh, thank you uh, once again for the uh, kind of request to Joker. But so I mean, yeah, I mean it wasn't it wasn't uh, my favourite movie I've been requested to review, but that's okay, and uh, that they uh, can't all be classics. Uh, uh, but still, it was a total pleasure to review this for you today, man, and and hope you. Uh, enjoyed hearing my my thoughts and my take on it. So, uh, well, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. And was it your thoughts on a uh, boy kills world? Um, and please comment and let me know. Please like this video and subscribe. But please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I'll see you next time when I share my uh, thoughts on a uh, uh, Avengers Doomsday coming in 2026, as well as the casting of Robert Downey Jr. as Victor Von Doom. Uh, quite controversial casting uh, from uh, lots of fans even if I don't get it so but uh, yeah uh, stay tuned yeah for my thoughts on the San Diego Comic-Con 2024 and remember movies are us bye guys